Hello friends, it's Girl AB, and today I am doing a recent or current favorites. Uh, as you know, I do not do monthly favorites because I just, I don't usually find that I have something on a monthly basis that I love so much that I really want to share with you guys. And today seemed like a great way um, or a great day to share the things that I'm loving with you because as you can see, I am in a different room. I'm actually in my bedroom right now because uh, I'm charging my iPhone and my Apple Watch so that they can sync up and both update and so blah blah I have to do it be in my bedroom so I can plug in everything so I couldn't do the video I wanted to do which is um, a Birkin review that was requested by a number of you so I will get that up in the next week but today I'm just doing something simple that I could take all the stuff in here so I'm gonna just just show you the things that I'm loving right now so the first thing is this boot, well, pair of boots, these two boots. Um, these are from Zara, and I actually bought these, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually bought these because Angelique Eva, who is another YouTuber, uh, she actually recommended these in a monthly favorite of hers a few months ago, and I loved them. I wasn't sure if they would look right on me because, as I'm sure you guys know, snakeskin, you know, when it's not done right it can look a little westerny you can look a little cowboy-esque and um i do not want to look like a cowboy but i think these actually look very glam i think this uh touch with the zipper looks glam sorry i was trying to show you how yeah, there we go uh, i think the chunky heel and the fact that the heel is black makes it look glam and then of course the lining the black lining follows down here yeah, I just, I love this boot. Um, it is quite tall, I would say. I don't know what you guys think. This is like four inches, right? This is pretty tall. But because it is thick, uh, because it has a bit of a platform, these are actually quite comfortable. I would say I can wear these, you know, walking to work, walking from work, being at work. Yeah, four to five hours without my feet hurting. After that, you know, it's a little iffy, so I wouldn't say these are like an all-day boot, and you know, I wouldn't wear a boot this high all day anyway, but this is a good, um, you know, mostly workday boot. I mean, I don't work eight hours. My job is kind of back and forth. I do a lot of work from home, so uh, this is kind of perfect for me because I can, you know, look chic, do my thing, come back, no feet hurting. <laughs> so these are what these look like again. And last time I looked, these actually were still available on Zara.com and were on sale, I think for 50 something. I bought them for 80. Uh, it's one of those things where you see them on sale and you're like, dang it, I could have gotten those on sale, but then I wouldn't have been able to wear them for the past three months during the winter. So I'm really glad I got these. The next favorite is another pair of Zara shoes, and it is these loafers. Now they're um, obviously a fake crock print, and they're kind of reddish brown. And I am in love with these. Uh, I can't remember if I have shown you guys all of my loafers, or rather drivers. I have three drivers from Ferragamo, which I love. Um, these are not as comfortable as the Ferragamos, uh, and I think I might have a cobbler put something in the top because my toes do kind of rub the top because there's just, you know, these are very, you can, yeah, you can see, these are very um, thin. So yeah, it needs a little something up there, I think, to kind of thicken it out so it doesn't feel like I'm literally rubbing almost through the material. So yeah, uh, nothing a good culprit can't fix, but these are pretty comfortable, uh, and I just, I love the way they look. And also they're flat, so you know, you can wear these for a longer period of time as well. And going into spring, I will definitely be wearing these more. Okay. <laughs> Next is a beret. I love berets. Um, so I actually got this, wow, you guys, I got this when 
I was like 10, I think. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, I'm from California. I do not currently live in California, but I'm from California and I got this hat when I was a kid in California. I think I, I was in Berkeley, one of my favorite cities ever. And I cannot put this on right now because it would totally mess up my hair, but You guys know what a beret looks like. <laughs> but this is handmade. Um, it's just so chic. And I don't know how I never realized how chic berets look. But they're also very warm. And this is just so perfect in February and January when I was so cold and I didn't want to do my hair. But I also still had to go to work or like I had to go somewhere and look put together. This was so perfect. And a good beret is hard to find because a lot of berets are very cheaply made, whereas this one has a very, I think you can see a very wide brim, which is good to pull over and which means that you can like wear it full to one side and just kind of manipulate it in a way that you can really change the look up so it doesn't look the same every single time, which is really great. Okay, uh, next luxury accessories. Probably unsurprisingly, one of my favorites is my Hermes card case, uh, my Calvi card case in Rouge H, Rouge H, Rouge H. Um, so yeah, I used this when I went to a conference last weekend. I was able to get out, give out a few cards. I love this. I felt so great taking it out, and it's just it's not like obviously it's not branded. Like most of Hermes stuff is not branded. Um, but it just looks, I think it looks luxe, but so basic. So I just, I love this. I love what it symbolized. I loved using it for my new business card. So that was a really great feeling. Uh, next is my Louis Vuitton um, planner or agenda. This is actually my second planner from Louis Vuitton because my first one had an issue with the rings. So I have a six a six ring planner, <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, six rings. Um, and so the issue was that the rings would get gaps in between. Obviously this does not have gaps, so I'm not trying to show you gaps, but these would get gaps and not close correctly. And so that became an issue because my stuff was falling out and so, Luckily, I took it to my home Louis Vuitton and they replaced it. Just, you know, a complete switch. I didn't have to pay anything. It was amazing. Um, as I do love my monogram, as you guys know, I did get it monogrammed right there. So yeah, I would say this is definitely one of my best investments. Uh, and I do say, I don't usually use the word investment because I believe that investments are things that make you money, but this is something I use multiple times a day, every day, 365. Uh, and I love, I just love planners. I love agendas. I love that this is a touch of luxe that I always have with me. Uh, it's practical, of course, because, you know, I use it my entire life is in here. Um, but it's also, it's really pretty. It's beautiful. And I do actually buy the Louis Vuitton refills, which I think are $75. Um, so $75 a year, you know, for a luxury planner, that's a little ridiculous, but it's fine. I mean, I like having the Louis Vuitton um, inserts and I like having the stickers, you know, those are stickers. Um... But it's not necessary. I mean, I might, I might not buy them this year. I might just buy, I know Filofax makes some that are, I believe, the same exact um, shape or size. So I might just buy those. You know, it's not a big deal either way. But what, what really makes a difference is, I think, you know, the planner itself. Okay, lastly, a skincare item. I don't usually talk about skincare. But let me know if you guys do care about skincare because I am actually obsessed with skincare. It's just something I haven't really shared on here, but like I just bought a lot of skincare. So please let me know if you'd like to see that. But for now, I'm just gonna share this with you. This is the Obagi C Clarifying Serum. Maybe I'm going too close to making that dark, I'm not sure. 
So Obagi is a dermatologist brand, um, meaning Obagi himself is a dermatologist, and this is a brand that previously was really only sold at dermatologist's office. Now you can get it on Derm Store, and I think they now have like a diffusion line that's sold at Sephora. But this is from Derm, Derm Store, and this is a vitamin C serum, vitamin C 10%, and it also has, um, what is that called? I think it's al, al foric acid? Ugh. Okay, this is annoying me. You guys know when you have seen something on a package and you know exactly where it is and then you look for it and of course you can't find it when you need to find it. So that's what always happens. But uh, this has additional facial brightening ingredients and I think it really works great. I mean, this light is not as great as, as it is in my wardrobe room. Um, but yeah, this is, I feel like it's been making my skin more even toned, brighter looking. Yeah, so I love this. It is a little expensive. I think it's maybe 40 or $50, but I'm used to paying that much for serums. I'm always willing to uh, pay a significant amount of money for my skin because, you know, I'm only in my 20s. I want my skin to look good as long as possible. So, you know, I would rather spend money on my skin than on anything else, really, uh, other than other health things. So, okay, so those are my favorites. Um, this was my first favorites video, I think. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, I don't have to do anymore. If you do... Uh, of course, I will make more, and of course, I can definitely do skincare videos. I can do uh, skincare hauls. The Sephora sale should be coming up soon. Where is it? I've been waiting for it. Uh, I know it's coming in April, so it should be soon, but yeah. Okay, so uh, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do like and subscribe if you like them, and thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will see you soon. Okay, bye guys.